Last round on AFC Outdoors, our Bass Pros had their tightest contest so far. The final weights at Lake Lentils were split by a mere 200 grams. For the Team Mercury placed fourth, even though Schofield bagged the Nitro Big Fish of the Week. He lost a tournament-winning bass just inches from the boat. Third place went to round one winners, Team Shimano. And after a steady day, Harry Watson missed out on second by only 50 grams. Ehrlich was the pro that had another consistent day, taking second spot again, even though he only caught three legal fish. And in a dramatic turn of fortunes, Team Savage's Carl Jockinson, who finished fourth in round one, could hardly contain his joy at beating anglers double his age and taking out round two by only 20 grams. Yeah, yeah. This week it all changes. We leave fresh water and head for the brim paradise of the Gold Coast, where last year Adam Reuter was disqualified for not wearing his life vest. Will controversy reign in our first brim round? You're watching the Australian Fishing Championship. <laughs> Steve Starling and welcome to round three of the Australian Fishing Championships. Our bass guys have had two rounds to lift the point score tally of their teams and now that we've arrived here on the beautiful Gold Coast, it's the turn of our brim specialists to take to the water. The championship leaderboard is very close. After disappointing rounds at both Boonduma and Lentils, Mercury are languishing in fourth. Third a Team Savage after Carl Jockamson's win last week. Team Netspace are in a great position in second, but Team Shimano are the clear leaders going into this round. I'm here with the guys from second placed Team Netspace. Now Jason, you're beginning to develop a bit of a reputation for being Mr Consistency. Do you reckon that's what it's going to take to win the championship? I think you've got to be pretty consistent all the way through. No good coming you know, last. We want to be in the middle, if not first, certainly. So yeah, I think that that's the way to do it. And Adam, it's the turn of the brim specialist today and you'll be hoping to avoid a repeat of the controversy in this round last series when you were disqualified. Yeah, it's been a year since last year's uh, tournament and I've got all the rules down pat. I had an excellent pre-fish yesterday and all I need to do is keep up with the pace with Jace and uh, I'll be in. Well, good luck today, Adam. And there's a vast array of opportunities to catch a brim here in the Gold Coast. So let's have a look around today's arena. The first of our four brim arenas is Queensland's Gold Coast. This location's busy waterways contrast dramatically with the peace and solitude of our inland bass arenas. Here it's all about glitz, glamour and life in the fast lane. But make no mistake, these tidal waters are jumping with fish. The Gold Coast offers our brim pros a range of habitat types from natural mangrove lined riverbanks and rocky shorelines to sand flats. But it's the abundance of man made structure that the coast's urban brim really love. And I'll bet my last soft plastic that's where our boys will be headed. Today I'm going to head up to some of the quieter canals and there I reckon I can get a limit of fish, no worries. Then after about the first two hours, I'll head out to the main river. There's not a lot of run at the moment, which means you can, you can fish down a bit deeper and that's where I think I'll catch the big ones and the tournament will be won. My game plan for today will probably entail running upstream to uh, catch the last of the run out tide. As that slows, I'll probably move back down and catch the first of the incoming. There's going to be a quiet period today and um, I, I think the fish will probably shut down for a while, so I might go searching. I don't know this arena at all. I went out yesterday and had a pre-fish and got lost, so I've raced around and brought myself a beacon to beacon map just so I can find my way home again. Without doubt, my most feared competitor would have to be Tim the Brim. This is his backyard. He fishes here a lot. I think he's going to be the man to beat. Out of the other three guys fishing today, they've all done a bit of fishing down on the coast, and I think if any one of them gets onto a couple of good bites and gets a couple of big fish, they can take it away. I've just got to make sure it's me with my local knowledge that I'll get those big bites. Well, it sounds like the recipe for a very interesting round, especially when you introduce this character into the equation, Acanthopagoras australis, the eastern yellowfin brim, a very wily customer indeed. And we'll see how our brim specialists go matching wits with him as we cross now to Matthew Campbell for the start of round three. Thanks very much, Steve. And all the ingredients are here for what should be a terrific day's angling. The first of our brim rounds from the beautiful Gold Coast. Conditions are absolutely perfect. And these guys have had to watch the Bass Pros over the first two rounds, so they're itching to get amongst the action. There's our champion from last year, Chris Wright. He can't wait for the start as the Club Marine Clock counts down 
set to go for round three of AFC Outdoors. There's the siren, we're underway. And as our pros take off, let's just recap today's rules. We're fishing catch and release for seven hours, a maximum bag of five fish. The heaviest bag wins the maximum 10 points. That's something Team Mercury's Tim Morgan has his eyes on. Let's hear from Tim in the first of our Brim Angler Profiles. I've been fishing the tournament since their inception. The bass tournament's about six years ago, so I've been doing them from the very start, and uh, yeah, they've just been fun, and I've been there to see them grow, and I'm hopefully growing with them. My first fish I ever caught was a brim, and it was with my dad and granddad up in Bowen, and, and that's where I basically got the name Tim the Brim from. I love going fishing no matter where it is. When you're out on the water, you can seem to leave all your other worries aside and, and just go out, relax, and have fun. Even a little one like that can give you a bit of stick. I really encourage anyone I, I see or speak to to go out and, and have a go at fishing. I, I'll do what I can to help them get the right tackle to get out there on the water and, and I've even taken a fair few people out and, and helped them catch their first fish on plastic so it's a really good feeling seeing that and watching them get hooked as well. And getting hooked is what Tim's all about. He is one of the best in the business. I think the fish are holding in tight on this structure because it's a sunny day so I won't waste my time casting in between whereas I would do if it was a cloudy day. Words of wisdom from Team Mercury's Tim Morgan. And as you can see, virtually fishing in someone's backyard. It's still a peaceful morning. We're just 15 minutes in. Yep, there's one there. And Tim really does know this Gold Coast arena very well. Already some success. And this is important because Team Mercury hey, little fella, but languishing at the bottom of the table at the moment. It's only small, but it'd be good enough for a start for him. Now, this is Adam Reuter from Team Netspace. Disqualified from this event last year. His teammate Jason Ehrlich has got Team Net Space off to a good start in the first two bass rounds. He'd be keen to keep that going, yep. fishing the shady side of the pontoon like Tim Morgan and like Timmy's on as well. Now, traditionally, the fish here at the Gold Coast aren't that big. Adam was disappointed in his performance last year, but this is just the start he's looking for. It's not huge, but it'll be one in the well. One down, four to go. Team Net Space on the board. Coming up after the break, will Tim Morgan be king of the brim or will Adam Reuter have a dog of a day? Thank God the brim aren't that aggressive. Welcome back to round three of AFC Outdoors, the first of our brim rounds. We're back with Tim Morgan from Team Mercury, already with two fish in the well. And this could be number three. It's taken a bit of line. It could be a good sized fish. What a tremendous start for Tim Morgan and Team Mercury. He won't panic here. He is really setting the pace at the moment. The net's out, and that will be number three. Not a real big one, but it's legal. Legal it is, and that's three for Team Mercury. Now, this is the first time we've seen Chris Wright, last year's champion, with one already in the well. Got him. Nice fish, nice fish. Well, this will be number two for Team Shimano. Let's remember, they are the championship leaders at the minute. Yes! That's a better fish. That is a good fish. Good fish for these waters. Beautiful brim. Good start for last year's champion. We'll take a look at his first fish caught some five minutes earlier. Just legal here in the Gold Coast. 23 centimetres to the fork of the tail is the limit. Now, this is Ian Miller from Team Savage. Let's drop that in with a shade there. Just fish a couple of these pontoons in here. If we don't get any reaction, we'll probably leave and go back out in the main river. Yep, there's a fish. Got him. Oh, that's a good start. He's a legal one. He's not real big, but I think he should go wait. Okay, that's a good start. All our pros on the board inside the first hour. Back with Tim Morgan, already with four fish in the well. There he is. Oh, a good one too. <coughs> not often the big one takes it. <laughs> Oh, he's a good fish. This is incredible. This will be five fish, a full bag inside the first hour. He has the net out. He knows it's a good sized fish. Pretty keen to land it. Don't spit anything out. I want that weight. This is the best start we've ever seen by any of our pros. He's got himself in a bit of a pickle. The net between the legs still has to reel some line in. But he's there now. This will be number five. Tim the Brim Morgan at his best. I get five fish that big for the day. I think I'll be in. A pretty good chance of winning. Team Mercury setting the pace, but Team Net Space's Adam Reuter is chasing. It's with the little white furry dogs. Do they come standard with a pontoon or? 
I'm on. The dogs are barking. The fish are biting. On for number three. Really giving that nitro rod a workout. Oh, look at his mates with him. <laughs> Have a mate, would you? <laughs> yeah. Come on, pal. Show you a bit of uh, the inside of my net, which would be lovely. There we go. Check that out. <laughs> yes, we're away. Old team net space. We're kicking a few goals here. Three in the bin before my preferred fishing time. Pretty happy with that, let me tell you. Crikey. Thank God the brim aren't that aggressive. Well, one person who has been aggressive with his great start is Tim Morgan. Here he is with Steve Starling. Well, Timmy, 7.55 and you've got five in the well. You'd be feeling pretty good about that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I feel really good. There's uh, three that are only between 23 and 24, but I'm pretty sure I can upgrade all those before I leave this little canal. What sort of a feeling is it to put that fifth one in so early in the piece? Oh, time to relax. and I, I knew I'd get five pretty quickly, just the amount of fish we saw here yesterday, but my big fish aren't going to come till about midday. Confident Tim Morgan back with Chris Wright from Team Shimano. Got him. He was off to a good start, two fish early, but he's just stalled since then. It's been over an hour since his last legal fish. Ooh, he fell. Oh, no. The lead has rubbed on a bit of rock down there and just broken me off. Oh, it felt like a really nice brim, too. Things not going well for Team Shimano's Chris Wright. We're back with Ian Miller from Team Savage. Having a similar sort of morning to Chris. Two fish in the live well inside the first three hours. He's up as close as he can possibly get to that pontoon. Trying to use the shade. It's working for him. He could be on for number three. Look at the scoreboard. Adam Royce has just jumped up to four. He is chasing Tim Morgan at the minute. But Ian Miller pulls it into the boat. He makes it number three. A change of luck for Team Savage. He moves into third position on the leaderboard. Back with Tim the Brim Morgan, already with a full bag of five fish. The only pro to be upgrading. He's absolutely on fire here at the Gold Coast. He's catching more fish. Now, it's not about numbers as we know. It's all about the weight of the fish. He's looking for some heavier ones to upgrade. Perhaps this is the one he's looking for. Yeah, be a good little upgrade, that one. Oh. So just under that trimaran, that's about probably 26, 27 centimetres. So that's another 50, 60 grams upgrade. Back with Adam Reuter from Team Netspace. Gotcha. Oh, it's a goodie. Oh, look at them all come out. This could be number five, a full bag, and he'll join Tim Morgan at the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, back this way, Buster. <laughs> Get away from that boat. Get away from that boat. <laughs> Twin your legs down the back. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh. Come out. <laughs> yes, I've popped him out. Now, this is more like it. Come in and, uh, and meet, meet Mr. Net. Just stay on a little bit longer. Come on, turn this way. This way, this way, this way. <laughs> now, oh, that's a goodie. That'd be 700. And that makes five. <laughs> Adam Reuter's happy. Team Netspace now upgrading. Coming up, will the Gold Coast turn into a two-horse race? Or can the champ mount a challenge? I'm over. Welcome back to the Australian Fishing Championships. This is round three from the Gold Coast. And this is Chris Wright from Team Shimano, who has been struggling of late. Yes, this is a good one. This is a good one. Come on. Stay on. Stay on. We swallowed it, but staying on this one. Phew. Yes. His size. That's number four. You can go in. That's better, and there's still plenty of time. Don't write us off just yet. Back with Tim Morgan from Team Mercury. He's had a fabulous day. He had his first five fish inside the first hour. It's been all upgrades since then. And once again, he's doing that now. The Club Marine clock shows right. one hour to go. The tide's coming in. That's providing more opportunities for anglers. And it's certainly helping Tim Morgan. He's looking for another upgrade. This looks like a pretty good sized fish here. I got excited. And excited he should be. He's having a great day. That's a good fish. Into the boat it goes. It's just all upgrading for Team Mercury. Oh, upgrade. <laughs> nice little fella. That'll be a good 100, 150 gram upgrade for me. Excellent. 
The great day continues for Tim Morgan, but also for Team Net Spaces' Adam Reuter. He's yeah, right no, in the hunt. This is a high grader. Look at that puppy down there. <laughs> Didn't he have me absolutely bailed up under... He just kept going back, 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 back under the pontoon there just to get back into the dark where he came from. And uh, he's going to upgrade that little one in my tank quite nicely. Beautiful, look at that. That's a cracker. Over to Ian Miller. Hasn't had the best of days. Still without a full bag. Come on, take it easy and don't fall off. Yes. That's good. That'll kick us along. That will kick us along. That's a relief for Team Savage, but with only 35 minutes remaining, there's not a lot of time to upgrade. Speaking of upgrading, well, it's a sense of deja vu for Tim Morgan. The superb day continues for this local Queenslander with just 24 minutes on the clock. It's a battle royale between him and Team Netspace's Adam Reuter. Every gram will be important, and we've seen many times how important the last half an hour in the competition can be. The net's out. It's a pretty good-sized fish. Again, it'll probably be another upgrade and a heavier bag for Tim the Brim Morgan. Yes. A cracker of a fist. I love it when a plan comes together. That fish, not quite a killer, will probably be about a 400 gram upgrade for me, so awesome. Awesome it is for Tim Morgan. Not to be outdone, though, is this man, Adam Reuter, still in the hunt, still searching for a heavier fish with just 15 minutes remaining. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. This might be upgrade number three or four or whatever it is. I've stopped counting. He might wake up that he's hooked in a minute. There he goes. Yep, and <laughs> now he's doing it. <laughs> and down this side. And now he wants to go back home. A bit late for that. Here he is. Yeah, this guy will go. The nitro rod is loaded down to the foregrip. This is another upgrade for Team Netspace. They're turning it off for Netspace. What a wonderful day it's been for Adam Reuter. It's going to be very close between him and Tim Morgan. Now, this is Team Shimano's Chris Wright. Still doesn't have a full bag. Just the four fish in the well. Just 10 minutes to go, yep. and he's still trying. And it could be the all-important fifth fish. What a risk he's taken, though. There's penalties for finishing yeah. late. Yes! Oh, mate, what a finish. We've got about a minute to go, and we have to get out of here. We're in where we're showing now. Oh, look out. <laughs> With only minutes remaining, the last cast has paid off for our champ. Now his challenge is to get back in time. Coming up on AFC Outdoors, the race is on to our first Brim weigh-in. If everyone ever says, never ever give up, you don't. You just keep plugging away, plugging away. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors, round three from the Gold Coast. This is Team Net Spaces' Adam Reuter preparing for the weigh-in. He's had a terrific day's angling. Two of our pros have already weighed in. And Ian Miller from Team Savage, just the 1.89 kilos. Chris Wright with that fifth fish right on the bell is our current leader. But it's all ahead for Team Net Spaces' Adam Reuter. He upgraded well throughout the day. He'd be pretty confident that he can take the lead from Chris Wright. Adam Mad Dog Reuter, tell me about your day. At least you didn't get disqualified this time. It's a, it's a better start than last time. Um, my day started off a little better than I thought it would. I actually had four fish in the in the well before 12 o'clock, and I honestly didn't think I'd get one before 12. So that's the result. We'll whack them on there and find out what the total weight is, and it's a 2.26, and you become the new leader. Well done, Adam. 2.26, a terrific day for Reuter, but there's still one man to beat, Tim the Brim Morgan. And last, but by no means least, the man they all feared, Tim the Brim Morgan. And uh, not a bad bag, Tim, but you've caught a lot better bags of fish out there, haven't you? Yeah, down here, but I'm pretty happy with the way the fishing is at the moment. I think I did, did pretty well to get that bag. You today. caught a heck of a lot of fish today, didn't you? Yeah, I probably would have got at least 40 fish. I'd say 30 of those would have been legal, so it was just a matter of getting the numbers and uh, high grading where I could. All right, let's get them on the scales. The mark to beat is 2.26 by Adam Reuter, and your bag weighs 2.95. Yes! Get there. A convincing victory for Tim Morgan, a hug for John Schofield, and disappointment for Adam Reuter. And for Tim Morgan also, the Nitro Big Fish of the Day. Yeah. Two more points. Two more points. 
He's ecstatic. And why wouldn't he be as we check out the points for round three on the Gold Coast? The maximum 12 for Team Mercury. Team Netspace for the third week in a row, finishing second with eight. Team Shimano on six. Team Savage picked up three. The day belongs to Tim Morgan. Here he is with Steve Starling. Well, Tim, a great win for Team Mercury today. Were you happy with your day? Yeah, I had a great day today. I went out there, I caught heaps of fish, high grade a lot of times, and I knew I had to do that for the championship. We were falling behind a bit, and out of all the brim events, this is the one I've got the best chance of winning, so yeah, I'm wrapped. As Tim and all our pros showed us this round, a quiet approach is essential if they want the best chance of catching a fish. All of our tour pros use motor guide electric motors to sneak up on the fish. Motor guides run on a pair of 12 volt batteries, and anglers can easily fish a full day on a single charge. Mounted at the bow of the boat, the motor guide is controlled by foot and the rocking of the pedal turns the motor from side to side, which leaves both hands free to catch more fish. Check out the range at a motor guide dealer near you. Well, the point score situation is incredibly tight at the top of our leaderboard, with Team Shimano and Netspace locked together on 24 points apiece, just one point ahead of Team Mercury. Team Savage is languishing in fourth place, but still well within striking distance of the leaders. And if you missed any of the action in last year's AFC series, make sure you grab a copy of the DVD from any good retailer. Also, if you're interested in this style of tournament fishing, check out AFC Outdoors com.com.au and you could be fishing an AFC series one day yourself. Next round we're off to the beautiful Hawkesbury River system in New South Wales. Last year this river produced some amazing brim fishing for our competitors and who could ever forget Ian Miller's rod rage when he lost that bruiser in the oyster axe. But today's victor is Tim the Brim Morgan and here he is with a few tips on how to fill your bag with brim here on the Gold Coast. Today I fished up the back of some really quiet little dead end canals. I found a whole lot of fish there in the pre-fish because they're dead end, there's not a lot of current flow through them. So in order to make my lure look more natural and presentable to the brim, I used a very lightly weighted one. It sinks really slowly, looks really natural. In order to cast this and present this to the brim, I use a seven foot Ian Miller Brim Buster Finesse with a little Shimano 1000 reel. It allows me to put long, accurate casts in every time. It was a great combination of gear today, which gave Team Mercury a great win.